Hello everyone, Chef Pennington here. I thought I'd make a video and show you guys what my morning workout and supplementation, what I do about eating, things like that, just to kind of give you a walkthrough of what I'm doing. And I can tell you that it works really well and it's taken me a really long time to figure it out. It's not rocket science, it's just doing things that we kind of know we're already supposed to do. Um, and everybody's a little bit different, so what works for me may not work for you. But like the supplementation that I use, my thoughts are what's one less thing I could take, not what's one more thing I can take. So I think you guys will like that. And they have really good value. I'm pre-diabetic, so I'm very focused on being healthy. That's why I'm at the gym here early in the morning. It's chilly outside. Um, but let's get to it, y'all. Okay, today is upper chest day. Upper chest is something that's pretty tough to develop for most most people. I'm a skinny tall guy, so it's always been not one of my strong areas. So I'm really trying to work on it. Now one of the keys to gains, in my opinion, is controlling the weight. Now that's something you guys have probably heard a million times, but burst up and then control the weight as it's coming down. Let gravity work with you. You get more gains that way. You took all the effort to get it up, don't be in a hurry to get it down. It's like wasted rep. There's eccentric and concentric and the concentric moving down like that let yourself take full advantage of it and you'll have better workouts you really will you'll you'll feel like you're getting stronger quicker but controlling the weight real important okay we're all warmed up we've done a number of other exercises now we're towards the end of our workout and this is where we can start lifting heavy because we warmed up the joints we've got blood in the muscles and we're feeling good so be sure to go that route, guys. When you want to lift heavy, do it towards you know the middle to the end of your exercise and allow yourself to have a really good warm up. So my first couple here aren't so good. It's kind of you're feeling the weight, you're kind of letting it come down. So here's the key to doing a chest exercise is you don't want your arms coming any further down than parallel to the ground. If you dip your elbows further than parallel, you're doing a shoulder exercise. You're not isolating the muscle, it's not all chest. And that's not what we're doing with this exercise. It's incline for your upper chest. So Bring it down parallel, and you guys will be really targeting the muscle. You'll enjoy it. All right, folks, we just got done with the workout. Now it's time to eat. Really important. Um, they say between an hour and two hours after you work out, your anabolic window is open to feed yourself. You know, primarily you want protein. This is actually one of the times eating a little bit of sugar is not bad. It gives your your system a kickstart. Not like raw, not like you know refined sugars, but like fruits and berries and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, protein's key. That's really where it's at. That's what's going to help your muscles rebuild and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and make sure you get some vegetables in there, which the fibers is great. That's how we don't get cancer and stuff like that. The fiber acts like the cleaner. Our body is one big filter, and the fiber just helps get all that nasty stuff out. So make sure you eat your vegetables for that one key reason, if anything. So we're going to do a quick rock round and take a look at what I'm eating. Let's do it. All right, folks, a few places better to eat than Whole Foods. Like, who in the world is going to prepare this much food that you can come eat anytime you want to? And they just keep changing it out all day long. And it's around $8 a pound, which is fantastic. See back over here behind me? Let's see, where is it? Down along the whole row. Those are all different kinds of cafes you guys can go eat at, from tacos to, uh, they do like ramen. You can get pizza, of course. Who doesn't want pizza all the time? <laughs> Wish I could eat pizza all the time, don't you? Um, it's just a great store. If you guys have never been, you should definitely check it out. If you're ever in Austin, their headquarters is here in Austin. It's downtown. I'm up in the domain right now. I look pretty close to here, so this is my spot. But to be able to come in here and eat this great food daily for like five to six, maybe seven bucks, it's hard to beat, y'all. And that's worth it. It's an investment in your health. 